Welcome to episode 1092 of Love Serve Care. Today's episode, I want to share some thoughts around well-being. I had a great conversation in a community, so I want to give a quick shout out to my dude Austin, who facilitated this conversation and invited myself and several men to really explore this idea of well-being and One of the first things that came up for me was this broad spectrum of the physical, the spiritual, the uh, emotional, um, just different areas like that, right? Of making sure that I'm reading, I'm eating right, I'm doing all these different things and started to look at it, breaking it down to the granular level of do I have shelter, right? The, The hierarchy of needs, right? Do I have shelter? Do I have food? Do I have water? Am I emotionally safe and secure, right? Just these basic experiences as humans and then branching out and it's going to look different for every different type of person. What I'm excited about was this opportunity to, to explore the different areas of my life and how I maintain quote unquote sanity, if you want to call it that. Or just exploring how do I create that well beingness within myself. And some of the things that came to mind were, you know, with first thing in the morning, reading the Bible, listen to the you version in the morning, playing music, exercising, listening to podcasts or audio books, walking my dog, <laughs> recording this podcast. This is a part of me. This is not something that I need to necessarily do, even though it is a part of an action, it is an outcome for me to speak into the microphone for it to be recorded on my computer for me to upload it and for you to listen to it that is the path of it uh the other areas talking to sarah talking to the kids right having conversations with people whether they want to become clients or it's just simply for connections opportunity for collaborations whatever it is but conversations with people and even to a degree playing a little bit of Video games, right? I love Golf Clash. That's one of the things that feeds my spirit. It's a distraction for me for a few minutes to reset and, and and tap into a little bit of the cyber world. I used to play a lot of video games when I was a kid, and right, there's not that much time to do it now, or at least that's not time I'm interested in devoting to. But if it's a five minute thing, all right, I can play that, get back to what I'm doing. So all these different things nurture my spirit. They feed my soul and they allow me to be selfish in an opportunity to create selflessness for people, right? I talk about everybody wins. Well, guess what? I win first. That's the unwritten rule of the game. And that's the part that is becoming more apparent and more fun for me. And I wonder what is coming up for you. So remember that you're born to live your life in abundance. You're the master of your future. You control your freedom and you have complete dominance of your thoughts, your emotions, and your habits. Take care. God bless. Stay blessed.